So, Marvel and DC. Is the burnout real? I've done a video about this before. Maybe hands the videos. Talking about is the burnout real? Are people burnt out of Marvel and DC? Are people finally burnt out of all the superhero movies and TV shows that we have been getting over the last uh, three years since the pandemic started? I mean, it just don't feel special. It don't feel exciting. You know, I don't get excited going to see a Marvel movie. Um, I haven't seen any recent DC movies. I know, I still got to see Black Adam. But these movies nowadays don't have that special feeling like the first three phases of Marvel did. When it comes to DC, it's just all over the place. There's no special feeling. they just all over the place. And so my question to all y'all out there that's watching this video. What's going on with Marvel and DC? Or the superhero genre as a whole? Is it the fact that people aren't excited anymore? Are people finally burnt out? Or is the product not good? You know? Are people just tired of all this, you know, superhero stuff? Is it finally, um, you know, catching up? Is it finally, you know, getting boring? Is losing its appeal? It's just not exciting? Yeah, you can slap a Marvel logo on it and people are going to go see it. But they aren't as excited, as juiced up, as crazy about it as they were before during the first three phases. Or maybe it's because Marvel has lost direction. Do you see there's really nothing that needs to be said? <clears throat> you never had direction. It gave us the Man of Steel back in, what, 2012, 2013 or something like that. And after that, everything just kind of started going in this crazy direction. And you haven't been able to find your way back since. Now you got a new owner. We'll see what happens. I hope everything turns out a lot better than it did with the previous regime. But now that people are starting to feel this superhero fatigue, if it's indeed real, you know, what's keeping people attached to these movies? You know? I ain't gonna lie, man. I'd be happy to watch stuff that has nothing to do with superhero stuff. I'd be happy to talk about it because it gets me away from the usual. <laughs> But, like I said, I don't know if it's superhero fatigue. I don't know if fans are just burnt out. I don't know what it is. So, you know. It's just not exciting as it used to be. But y'all let me know in the comment section what do y'all think about the superhero genre as it stands today. Can Phase 5 and 6 save Marvel? Sorry. Can Phase 5 and 6 save Marvel? Can this new Bible or new plan that um, they got over at DC with James Gunn and the other guy that's working with him, I forgot his name. Can they save DC? Can it bring DC back? Can it restore DC's good name? We don't know. We're going to wait to find out. I know 2023 is going to be a banger. It's going to be an unbelievable year for movies. I'll say that much. But will Marvel and DC ride that? Will be will Marvel and DC ride that wave, or will the burnout continue to play out going into next year? If Marvel and DC don't show that they have a plan, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel. You know, hit that notification bell so you stay up to date on all content here on my channel. The boy is working his way up to 900 subscribers by the end of this year. I'll see you in my next video. Peace. I'm out.